This week we painted for a video to promote a charity for Project for Awesome, which is the annual charity event that is hosted by the vlog brothers John and Hank Green. So they've been doing Project for Awesome since 2007. The last few years they've raised like three million dollars for various charities and they have their fan base, the Nerd Fighters, submit videos about a charity that they think deserves some attention. Then Nerd Fighters will watch all the videos and vote on which charities they would like to see get more money. At the end of the live stream where they earn all of the money, their charitable organization distributes the money to all of the charities that have been voted on by the community. So we decided that we were going to paint a painting. So we've got Hank and John, and we're doing them insanely colorful because yeah. they uh, they brighten our lives yeah. <laughs> every day. We love Hank and John. Yeah. Hank and John are awesome, like Project for Awesome. <laughs> Just like Project for Awesome. We watch a lot of Saito. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's true. Yeah, when Hank was on Drawfee, Sam made her fangirl face that's usually reserved for K-pop albums coming out. <laughs> when I was little, our dad taught me how to play Minecraft, and he brought me on to the Nerdfighter Minecraft server, Nerdcrafteria. Mm -hmm. And I remember everyone on there being so nice. Yeah, the Nerdcrafters were very nice to you. And that was when you were like too little to understand that maybe you shouldn't break things other people did and that kind of thing. And they were just so sweet to you. I mean, you didn't break their stuff. You did it to daddy a lot. <laughs> They were helping you find things and saying hi, and they'd have chats with you about, you know, how you were doing, and nerd fighters are the best. They're the best. So I'm painting this green part right there, but on camera it kind of looks yellow, but it's green. You can see the paint right there. It's green. And now I'm painting that other darker green. Back in February of 2020, our lives completely changed. Your dad went to bed one night completely fine, and he woke up at 3 a.m. having a massive panic attack. He couldn't stop pacing and crying. It was scary. It took him to urgent care as soon as they opened, and they couldn't find a cause. They ended up sedating him and assuming he'd be fine when he woke up. But he wasn't. After a month of doctors and tests and medications, things weren't any better. And then lockdown hit. He spent the next six months sitting in an office chair in a quiet corner of the backyard with his headphones on and his fists clenched, trying to hold himself together. Over the last four years, there have been many doctors, many medications, lots of therapy, and little relief. His short-term memory vanished. He had difficulty speaking or doing simple tasks. He spent most of his time in his office alone. I didn't know that a person could go from seeming to be totally normal one minute to completely mentally disabled overnight. He went from the chillest person we knew to constantly angry and hopeless. I'm gonna cry again. Are you trying to make me feel better by sitting in my lap? <laughs> I was feeling bad because we can't afford to donate this year. It's just way, way, way too tight with daddy unable to work. And I'm working 100 hours a week, but it's it's not enough. He made a lot more money than I did. So it's difficult to compensate for a very successful career. So we can't donate, but I wanted to participate. And I was like, you know what? We actually have a thing that we care a lot about. So... That was the impetus for doing a bunch of research to find a charity that we liked for mental health. This is my second time painting a Hankler fish. The first time I painted a Hankler fish, I hid it in the crystals for the premiere of Elemental. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, Hank's face was such a challenge. I didn't think about it when I was doing it. I was riffing on the Vlogbrothers image that's Hank with his head on John's shoulder because it's so cute and so them. And it didn't occur to me when I decided to do that pose that uh, Hank's head would be really, really sideways. And so the whole time I'm painting Hank's head, I'm like hanging my head sideways, trying to see it and trying to figure it out. And it was a pain in the neck, a literal pain in the neck. 
So poor Hank looked kind of like an alien for a lot of the time. Eventually he looks like Hank, but he, he looked like their alien brother for, for quite some time. It is so satisfying to see all the colors go <laughs> the places. The colors go in the places. So I am painting this Furby made out of baked beans. <laughs> the baked bean Furby. <laughs> I don't know the story of the baked bean Furby. Yeah, I drew it in Photoshop before we painted it. It helps when all three of us are working on something at the same time to have a solid plan. So I, I rendered it in Photoshop and you saw it and you were like, is that a bean Furby? And I remember I wanted something that I remembered from a Project for Awesome live stream in the painting. And I remember the Furby. <laughs> but I couldn't remember the story and I'm talking to you guys and dad and I'm like, you know, the, the baked bean Furby and you guys were like, what are you talking about? The live streams always feel like fever dreams anyway because they're, <laughs> they're long and they get kind of silly and crazy and so I was like, did I dream this? Did I, did I make up the baked bean Furby? And I had to look it up and it is in fact a thing. <laughs> Hank actually got it, I think it was around Thanksgiving of 2020. He bought it from an artist and <laughs> then it got a name during Project for Awesome 2021. Let's see if I can remember what his name is. It's Beanie Sandferb, like Bernie Sanders, but Bean and Furby. Beanie Sandferb. I'm pretty sure. I'll look it up again. <laughs> I'll look it up. Oh, you can buy a baked bean Furby. I just at, looked it up and there's like a ton of... Yeah, you can you can buy it. You could get your own. You could have your very own baked bean Furby if you wanted. I don't know if they're all from the original artist still or if somebody else is making them now because it got popularized. <laughs> So this is the the logo for NAMI. So I looked up a bunch of charities and I narrowed it down to the ones that I liked what they did. They did the things that kind of seemed like they would have helped us the most. And the NAMI website is so, there's so much there. You can look up articles or you can look up videos, but it's, you know, educational, but also resources, but also a hotline for emergencies and but it was just, I remember in the moment when everything happened, just being completely overwhelmed and I couldn't even look things up, but just, I think it's always empowering to be educated and informed. That's how you change your circumstances and change the world. You just, the more people who are informed. <laughs> and I think the website is so well laid out and so not overwhelming. It's exactly what it needs to be. And I was so impressed by it. You guys know, daddy, before he couldn't work, he was a web developer. He did web programming for for a living. So he's got very specific views on how navigable a website should be. And he gets very touchy when a website is difficult to navigate. And so, yeah, we both agreed that the NAMI website is so well designed, which is one of the reasons why we chose <laughs> NAMI. Outlining the splooshes and the splashes and the drippies. Hey, there's 2015, our first time donating. We still have the buttons and you are made of awesome. <laughs> A few viewers have, have messaged me and asked why we've been putting up so few videos this year. And that's that's why. It's because I'm working 100 hours a week trying to make up our lost income. But I love, love, love making videos with you guys. So anytime that we have a chance, uh, we're gonna do it. So apparently making cursed Furbies is its own genre now. Like Jazz has done it, this artist has done Jello Furby and Foot Furby and... Ew. <laughs> yeah, he was right. So if you were gonna do your own cursed Furby, what would it be? Like spaghetti? Spaghetti Furby, that sounds good. Would there be meatballs or just spaghetti? I think just spaghetti. And like a red sauce? Yeah. Like sauce? Like what if it was just the spaghetti? Just the noodles? Yeah. That'd be interesting. Could be like ramen with the curly ones. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would do bugs. Bugs. Whoa. Bug for me. Like Oogie Boogie without the burlap. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the picture that came to mind, but with the eyes and the beak. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's terrifying. I was thinking pine cone because they're already kind of Furby shaped and you could use like a really big one for the body and little ones for the ears. <laughs> <laughs> and even littler ones for the feet. 
I changed up the original image to give them teeth. I like painting teeth. I don't know why. I like painting teeth. I hate painting glasses. I like painting teeth. <laughs> I got to do both. What are you painting, Samo? I'm painting the logo for Project for Awesome. Yep. I think it turned out so good. Yeah! It was really fun to paint Hank and John. <laughs> and I think that Ty's Furby turned out super cute. It looks so funny. This is the sound he makes, like... <laughs> is that the, that's the sound that the... the... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, bean Furby's bean. What was it again? <laughs> yeah, you know, I think you're right. That sounds, that sounds right. That sounds exactly right. 